everyone, my name is Sonia and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. It's part of his summer collection and I just got it in the mail today and I'm excited to dip into it. So the outside of the packaging is a nice orange. It says Thirsty, obviously the name of the palette, on it. And it has like these 3D water droplet looking things. And on the back of the packaging it has the ingredients, his logo, his YouTube channel, his Instagram and the likes <laughs> and once you open it up the thirsty palette so the palette also it's a little bit of a lighter orange it also has these um water droplet things it says jeffree star cosmetics eyeshadow pressed pigment palette the back of the palette is looks like a creamsicle <laughs> and it also has these little water droplets and when you open up the palette, this is what she looks like. Oh, here's the plastic. Ooh, this is a thick plastic. So here's what the palette looks like. Oh my god, she's freaking beautiful. And it comes with this little plastic over the mirror, which I'm just going to leave there so I don't blind you. It comes with 15 shades. The top row is called Parched Taste Buds Bitch. <laughs> kumquat stroke then down here we have divine filthy rich lick snatched and plunge and then the bottom row is subtle quench submerge splash and drizzle i think i'm going to do multiple videos using this palette and doing different kinds of looks so if you want to subscribe and stay tuned and see what i can come up with that would be cool i know this middle row is a new formula for him and I'm excited to just... It was so soft. Bitch. Come on, pigment. <laughs> so, this is divine. This is snatched. And this is filthy rich. These do have glitter in them, and it's like a very small, finely milled glitter in them, and it's beautiful. I don't think I'm going to dip into any of these today yet. I think I might film a video with these glitters tomorrow. Today, I really want to focus on these really pretty, colorful matte shades. So, without further ado, let's get started on the tutorial, and then we'll hop into the review. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my eyes, not set my eyes, prime my eyes with a really light concealer. If I had white, I would use white because I really want these colors to pop, but I can't find my white. So I'm going to go ahead with a really light concealer and just plop that onto the lids. And I'm just going to buff that in using a big fluffy brush if I can find mine. Okay, now that I have this base down, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to do a cut crease today using the corally colors and then the blue and yellow. So I think I'm going to start with taste buds. Okay, so I'm going to take a small blending brush and dip into taste buds, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to start making my cut crease with this. It's subtle but beautiful. So I'm going to bring that up like a quarter way of my eye because I'm going to blend it in next with the color Bitch. Which I feel like I have to say it that way. It's like B I I I I T C H exclamation point. So. 
Okay, so next I'm going to take another blending brush and dip that into Bitch. And just blend that in with this color. Oh, I love this. Very pigmented. And I didn't add... Um, I didn't set the concealer as a base so that the colors would be more vibrant and more bright. So I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used Taste Buds with and just kind of blend those together. Now I'm going to take the color Quench, which is the yellow shade. And I'm going to blend that in next to Bitch. Actually, I'm going to take another brush first and I'm going to pack the color in and then... I think this color would show up way better on paler skin tones or, you know, if I had a white base, but this is giving me a pink lemonade fantasy right now and I'm totally here for it. I'm actually going to wet my brush a little bit and try to pack on some more of this color. And I'm just going to try to blend those all together with the brush that I used Bitch with. Now I'm going to cut the crease using um, my concealer, and you guys have seen me do this before in my previous videos, so if you want to see how I do a cut crease, just look at one of my old videos, or I can do a specific video on how to cut your crease. Just leave it in the comments below. So I decided on a half cut crease, and I'm going to go ahead and set this concealer with one of the glitters, I think. Should I? Should I? Okay, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna take the color Snatched and put that right over the concealer. Okay, guys, that was... that's really pretty. <laughs> so, I think for the outer edges, I'm gonna go in with the greens and the blues. So, I think I'm gonna put Submerge, which is the blue color, right here, and I'm going to put Splash right next to it, next to the green, I'm, the yellow. So I'm going to use the same brush for both colors so that they blend together, and it's just a pretty small blending brush. Oh my god, that is pigmented. Oh, bitch. Oh, man. This is beautiful. My brush isn't even wet, guys. Now I'm going to dip into Splash and put that up here.
Okay guys, so I think this is what I'm going to go for with the top of the lid, and I'm going to go ahead and throw on my eyeliner, lashes, and some foundation so I can finish up the bottom and show you the final look. Alright guys, I'm back. I put on some lashes and put on my face. Um, I don't really know what to do on to the... I don't know what to do on the bottom lash line, but I think that if we bring like the blue and green and drag it out a little bit, I think that'll look nice. So I'm just going to grab like a regular eyeshadow shader brush. I have this one. Okay, I'm going to use my e.l.f. one. And I'm going to go in with Splash and just connect that to where I had made this little V formation over here. And then I'm going to use the same brush and just put submerged right next to it. And on the inner corner, I'm just going to put quench the yellow shade. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner real quick using the same color I put right here, which is Snatched. Then finally, I'm just going to take the color Parched, which was the first color in the palette, this one to set my under eyes, which it still has like fresh concealer on it. I can only find a clean brush. <laughs> it's a nice shade. Alright guys, and to finish off the look, I'm going to take Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in the shade Posh Spice and put this look together. Alright you guys, so I just threw on a little bit of bottom liner, which I admittedly, I think I should have done white, I don't really like the black, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials and reviews of this palette throughout the week, because I'm going to be using it, I'm going to try to put out a video, like every day maybe, so if you want to hit subscribe, that would be really cool, um, see what else I can come up with, um, follow me on my Instagram, it's at Makeup by Sonia. X, Sonia with a J. Um, I will write it down here somewhere. If not, it will be linked below. So yeah, so follow me there. Subscribe here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you really liked this video. Bye!